Hello, this is David from www.figfab.com, and this is how to 3D print with Arduino, Marlin, Repetier Host, and Slicer. There's about 11 steps to successfully creating your first print with open source software. First of all, we will be going through downloading uh, the open source software onto your computer. We're going to be downloading the firmware onto your 3D printer. We're going to go and get a STL file, which is the model that we use to print from. And we're going to put it into a host program and slice it up with a slicer program. All of this will generate the G-code and run your 3D printer for your successful first print. Now let's get started. What is 3D printing firmware? Well, firmware is the operating system of your 3D printer, or most anything electronic. It's the brains of your pocket calculator. It's the brains of your cell phone. It's, it's, it's an embedded system inside of the electronics that says, when this happens, then I do this. You don't ever change it. You don't ever have much to do with it. If you purchased a 3D printer that's already built or from one of those big box stores, it'll already have the firmware in it, and you probably won't even be able to change it. So that's the kind of the benefit of an open source 3D printer is that you can actually get into the firmware and tweak it and make it exactly the way you want it. Most open source 3D printers need an Arduino based program to be the operating system. Because of that, you'll need to download the Arduino Integrated Development Environment or IDE and get it to talk to your printer. And we'll get into that right now. Step 1. Downloading Arduino onto your computer. Okay, I'm not going to get into a whole lot of detail on how to download programs off the internet, but I will show you where to get these different programs and how to use them once they're on your computer. Basically, just Google the Arduino download, as you can see I've done here, and you'll come up with the Download the Arduino software page, and just click on that. Once that's finished, it'll take you to the download the Arduino software page and you can scroll down and get the most recent program. Right now it happens to be 1.0.5 and I like to download the zip file as opposed to the installer just because it doesn't give me as many security issues. And you'll want to save it somewhere. Again, I'm not going to get into how to download and unzip files on your computer. You should already know how to use that. Once you've installed Arduino, open it up and take a look at it. This is not meant to be a full Arduino tutorial. This is just enough to get you going so your printer will work. Go to the Tools menu and click it. Now go down to the board. There's something the matter. Your Meltzy board is not in the list. We have to fix that. In order to put the board on the list, we have to go and get the drivers for it. Let's do that now. In step two, we're going to download the 3D printer hardware files to Arduino. So we're effectively going to allow us to put the driver board for our printer, the Meltzy driver board, into the Arduino program so we can talk to it. Once again, we're going to use Google to find the files. Just type a search for Melzi hardware files for Arduino and click on the Melzi RepRap wiki link. Once you're on the link, scroll down to find the driver's database. It's located at the GitHub repository here. Once you're here, download the zip file 
and install it on your computer somewhere where you can easily find it. So you've downloaded the zipped up file and you're going to need to unzip it to a folder on your computer where you can easily find it. Okay, let's open up the unzipped folder and see what's inside. It should have made three files, Marlin, Sanguino, and README. Highlight the Sanguino file and copy it. Now open the Arduino program folder to see all the folders inside. This Arduino program folder most likely will be in the Programs folder of your computer. Navigate to the Hardware section of the Arduino folders and paste the Sanguino file inside. Take a look, make sure it's in there. Arduino uses all of the folders inside of the Hardware folder to put the boards on the screen. Good job! Okay. Open up Arduino again and let's go back and take a look at the Tools menu. Then go down to the Board section and click on it. If you go to the very bottom of the list, you can see that our Meltzy 1284p 16 MHz is now on it. That means now we can talk to the printer. If you haven't clicked it already, click it now. And we'll go on. Step 3. Download Marlin onto your computer. What is Marlin? Well, Marlin is firmware for 3D printers. You can adjust the settings in Marlin to make it work with your particular printer. Marlin hard codes your printer's calibrations, like how many turns your X, Y, and Z stepper motors make to move the extruder one millimeter. These can be found in the default 